These are the tales and ramblings of two men, their dream of running a successful food truck business and life. We invite you along to join Josh and Skippy on this journey. This is Monday Morning Food Truck. Good morning, Skippy. Morning, Joshua. How are we today? Rise and shine, mother cluckers. Yep. I've been to the dump. I've been to the or the landfill. I've been to storage. And I've been home. Productive morning. A productive morning. That's good getting that much done. It is. Absolutely. Can't wait. Can't. Like It's, it's just really good. I love that. I love being love able to it? get stuff done. I need to do more of that. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. In our opening, I really want to know what they're saying. It sounds like lean back, but I hear it. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll see if I can get the uh, the <laughs> the lyrics for you. <laughs> it so you sounds can do, good. do that at karaoke. I absolutely would just tear it up at karaoke. Uh, um, oops. I feel let me do. Did you get any trouble this week? Hold on. Sorry. Oh, TikTok uh, not working. Oh, shit. I didn't even start that. Hold on. Oh, Thanks for reminding geez. me. Oh, boy. Well, I had to restart it because I left it open from uh, yesterday. Mm. And uh, it didn't like that very much. So hold on. Stand, please stand by. TikTok land. Um, get into trouble. I got into zero trouble. We had a phenomenal week. Thank you very much. I know. I mean, I I posted this morning that uh, you're just beating the brakes off last year's sales totals. Yeah, not bad. <clears throat> um, and I turned uh, chicken shit and chicken salad. Okay. A, here's here's today's valuable life lesson. Um, for anybody that would like to, uh, to use it, uh, I get 2% of your sales. Um, (laughs) uh, Tuffy Stone, uh, I'll call him a world famous barbecue guy. Um, once said on a episode of barbecue pitmasters that it's all about how you handle catastrophe. Um, if you go into this business, uh, it can be tough. It can be very, uh, it can also be very, very rewarding, but go in with a mindset of uh, make the best out of the bad, the worst situation you can. Just whatever, whatever bad can go wrong, figure out how to turn around and make the best of it, um, which will lead me into my week. So I'll just, I'll just talk Okay. as you're, as you're setting all that stuff up. Yep. Cause, We're cause getting there. Because um, tens and tens of YouTube listeners want to talk to us. I am also uh, panic shopping. So panic shopping. Oh, well, boy. yeah. I mean, I don't want to. I want to be ahead of the game for the next catastrophe. Oh, I was able to find paper towels yesterday. I don't know why you wouldn't be able to. Well, because some the ports were shut down for like three hours, and, and they were and they're good now. So everybody thought they were going to be panic buying. There, there was on U.S. made products. Yeah, well, people don't know what U.S. made products are. They really think we're importing <laughs> paper towel and toilet paper? Listen, I don't know. Okay. People are freaking <laughs> idiots. Know. No, as far I as heard, I can... I heard, hold on, I heard somebody say yesterday at the grocery store, they're like, all this, all this panic buying, like, I don't ever use brown eggs. <laughs> Isn't an egg an egg? <laughs> Like, I'm sorry. No, an egg, an egg is egg, not right? an egg. No, there is a difference. Between brown eggs and white eggs? Yes, 100%. Yep. Just like duck eggs taste different than chicken eggs. That I can understand. It's a different animal. You don't have brown chicken laying brown eggs. <laughs> Do you? 
Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Do you know brown cows making chocolate milk? Yes, that's where it comes from. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, so my week, uh, as I was going through, uh, busy, slow, and the same day. So we had, uh, let me pull up my wonderful calendar here, because, uh, oh, my oh, God. oh boy, what happened now? $373 for eight bottles of sauce. Eight bottles? Mm-hmm. Oh, you must be buying retail. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to use something else. No, I know, but just half yeah. gallons aren't going to work? They cost more. I wonder if it'd be about the same. Yeah, well, 30, 32 bucks a gallon. Plus... You have to buy more. Correct. <laughs> All right, so let's get back. No, Before I go into that. I, let me fiddle with my stuff, and you just go about what you're doing. All right, whatever. Cause... So we're going to talk about weeks. Um, before we just get off track, because we're both squirrels. Um, we ha- I, I had my last, uh, we'll just start with my knee. Uh, I had last PT. Um, I'm a straight-A student, uh, definitely getting... A lot more flexibility back into it, a lot more mobility. Still tight, still it doesn't hurt like on a daily basis. It just hurts if it's used a lot. Uh, Saturday when we had two caterings, there was a lot of uh, stairs involved. That wasn't that wasn't happy feelings. Um, Wednesday we had a normal roadside day, really slow, um, six hundred bucks. Uh, I was actually happy to be done with that day. Uh, Friday and Saturday, we had, um, five events in two days. And what I mean by events is we had four caterings and one regular event. Um, Friday we catered, uh, through the, through the truck at an ORV park through a powertrain company called Magnum Powertrain. Um, Sometimes uh, you throw out stupid money, and stupid money says yes. So that's why we drove an hour and a half to Holly. Um, And then we raced back to go to Hillsdale College to cater the class of 2024. Um, They tipped really well. They wanted tacos for some reason. And I saw a lot of, uh, we'll say white Carltons in uh, in the crowd. Carlton from Fresh Prince. Just think how he dresses and picture a bunch of white guys dressing the same way. Uh, Saturday. Saturday was chicken shit into chicken salad. So we had a food truck event. I would recommend recommend making chicken salad with chicken shit. Well, like I said, it's all about how you handle catastrophe and it's handling, you know, making the best out of a bad (laughs) situation. So here's the bad situation. We were scheduled uh, five months ago uh, we scheduled this date um, at a uh, cider mill in Dexter, um, which is about 45 minutes from my house, right off the highway. Not a bad drive, um, except I missed the first exit. I had to take the back way in. Yeah. Anyway, we told them that we needed about 40 feet between truck and trailer. Okay. We get there, and it is packed. Like, absolutely. We got there at... We're supposed to start serving between or at eleven. We got there at nine forty-five. It was packed. Um, so I walked in. I've had to park on the street, put four ways on, plenty of room for people to go around me, and still not impede traffic. Um, first thing I noticed: bees, a lot of them. Like bitches, well, or like the little flying animals. The little flying stinky oh, okay. things. A lot of bees. <laughs> uh, like my daughter was in the truck on the street, which was probably 50 feet away from their building and was bees were flying around the truck. So I went in, talked to the owner. She's like, oh yeah, we got this, this place marked over for you. So we should be able to, we can, we'll direct traffic for you. No problem. I said, okay, let's go look. They uh, had, hi, hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hey, Dan. And Steve and Fran on uh, the YouTubes. Oh, hey, Steve and Fran on the YouTubes. Uh, they had two, two, two number bees? two, no, uh, two parking <laughs> spots reserved for us. Oh, okay. 
So I'm like, <laughs> and they like, had a little gra- they had a little grassy area too. Like normal nine foot wide parking spots. No, these could barely fit a subcompact car. I think <laughs> parking uh, garage parking spots. Are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> But they had a grassy area, and I'm like, "All right, well, let's see, let's see if I can maneuver." <laughs> so as I'm maneuvering, like I realize that people want to come in, get their cider, and go home. Like I get it, but why do you have to be such an a hole? Like I'm pulling in with a truck and a big ass freaking trailer, and people are swerving around me just to get to another spot. They had to uh, put uh, apple bushel baskets, whatever the the big crates, apple crates mm-hmm. in the way. So nobody would move and their people were honking. It just wasn't fun. So here I go. I, I get backed into the spot and I go to look at it and I'm like, well, that's not going to be good. <laughs> I would have had to put my tongue Jack all the way down and I still wouldn't have been level. Yeah. I've been in those spots. Well, I had to disconnect my truck. <laughs> and to be frank with you, I did not feel comfortable, no matter if I had shocks or not. The generator is on the tongue. I don't need extra vibration. So I decided to pull out. Uh, and I let her know. I said, we can, I, I know next time if we do this, then I need to be here either at like 6 a.m. or somehow drop the trailer the night before and just bring food with me. She's like, well, I'm so sorry. I'm like, well, I didn't want to say, we told you we needed 40 feet and you gave me four feet. Uh, but I just said, well, we'll figure it out. She's like, okay. So we pulled out and my helper was on the way. And of course she was about ready to get off the exit. And I said, Hey, if we can't park here, there's no room. Um, you're off today. And she's like, son of a bitch, I'm under work. <laughs> so we pulled down to the center of Dexter and they're actually having a festival uh, called Apple Days. So I look it up on, I pulled over the side of the road, uh, a lot of four way action this weekend, <laughs> four way lights, sorry, lights. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to look it up. And of course it's by the Dexter lions club and there's no contact number for this. So I'm like, all right, well, I don't think I can get in here. Uh, can't park on the street and sell food. So our local cider thing, Meckley's, which I've attended the last two Sundays in a row, um, has food trucks every weekend. And I was told that people are backing out just left and right for whatever reason. They just, Mm -hmm. they're so they're not making the money they want to, to be able to either do the drive or they don't really realize how far the drive is, whatever. So I'm like, all right, well, let's call the guy who books it. So I called him and I said, Hey, uh, uh, did anybody back out today? They're like, yeah, actually somebody did. I'm like, can I come? I got a trailer full of food. Need to sell it. They're like, well, call the owner. Excuse me, call the owner. So I called her, and I'm surprised she answered. Because when I got there, or she said, I said, I've got. We were supposed to be at this cider mill. It didn't work out with parking. I've got a truck full of food. Um, can I come? Like, would you allow me to to come sell? She's like, absolutely. I said, okay. Now keep in mind the fee is ten percent. Mm-hmm. So I know going in that I owe somebody ten percent. Where I was going to park was free. So we get there. They start at 11. We get there at about 11.30. We open the door at 11.35, and we have a line 30 deep <laughs> by the time we open the door. I'm there nice. cutting bri- I'm cutting brisket as she's grabbing brisket, and I still have to go because I have uh, – we'll get to that in a second. So <laughs> when I left to go to Dexter, I had put two cases of chicken quarters on the smoker, on the rotisserie, mm-hmm. and wings, and a, a bag of – wings uh only thinking i was going to be gone for two hours well now it's four hours that chicken's still on the smoker when i finally (laughs) oh it was done (laughs) Uh, but please hold we're getting there uh so of course i'm checking sales Mm-hmm. And our line 30 deep must have been gone because, you know, within the hour or hour it took me to cut brisket, get everything done and get home. We had like $300 in sales. So I'm <laughs> like, well, hopefully they can do it anyway. So I'm, I checked the smoker as soon as I jumped out of my truck. Uh, the chicken quarters were definitely done. Um, I was able to pick them up without them breaking. So that's good. That's, okay. that's very good. 
Uh, the wings, on the other hand, um, they were they were done. They were definitely done. Some were over. Some were over over. So, two different caterings dropped everything off. Uh, one of them was downstairs at a church. And I hate when I, like, they ordered X amount of food and I get there to help set up, or, you know, set up the chafing dishes and stuff. Mm-hmm. And they give me like a six foot table and expect like eight pans to fit on it. I'm like, do you have more tables? <laughs> Please. And then I find out that they have Olive Garden coming too to cater because they want salad. Mm-hmm. Like, I could have done a salad. Probably cheaper than Olive Garden could have do a salad, but and give you Olive Garden dressing. But anyway, uh, I left my hot box there. I had to go pick up the trailer. I looked at sales at, or I looked at my text messages, and they sold out at like three twenty. I'm like, Whew. so I look at sales, and I'm like, I only cut up probably a thirteen pound brisket after it was cooked. Mm-hmm. So I had 13 pounds of brisket and I had five pork butts, four full pans of mac and cheese, two full pans of cheesy potatoes and six racks of ribs. And she's like, I, I saw the text at 24. That was, I was very excited about that because nice. keep in mind, I have been there. This is now three weeks in a row. <laughs> so I'm always worried about like wearing out my welcome kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And so I'm talking to my girls. Um, I had my daughter working and then uh, my A-team Amber. Uh, I talked to them and they're like, because where I set up, I literally just pulled into the driveway, dropped the trailer, and like we were kind of in the back area. So one of the other food trucks was there with us two weeks ago or three weeks ago. And Mm -hmm. I did like 2,100 and he did like 500. And he blamed it on the fact that he was out where I was parking yesterday or on Saturday. Like I wasn't up front. Let's put it that way. Okay. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't tell him how much we did. <laughs> he said, my girl said, as soon as, as soon as we announced that we sold out everything, they started having a line, <laughs> but this cider place I'm telling you, there was a line 30 deep just to get into the building to get donuts. And I had, I, I've been there for three years and I've never seen that line that long, hmm. but the girls did awesome. the girls did good. They had great tips. Um, hey, I no. wasn't I wasn't too worried. Uh, monetary, Josh, monetary. Uh, and hmm. my daughter made more in on <laughs> Saturday than she made in like her paycheck at the pizza joint she works at. I just got yelled at. <laughs> By who? Mark. <laughs> Why? Because you ordered eight hundred bottles of sauce. Oh, it was only three cases and half gallons. <laughs> what did he yell at you for? Clearing them out. <laughs> right Fuck. after, right yeah. after I asked. No, he's. They still have some, but it was right after I asked him about for an update. <laughs> well, no update. He said they were anyway. stuck because of the the port strike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm sh- I'm sure. Um. <sighs> so we ended up having. Um, what I would consider is a, is a, a pretty good, um, pretty good day, uh, pretty good week or ended up being a good week. We did, we did not do a lot in cash. I can tell you that last week. Excuse me. Well, why, why, why are you doing this to me? Oh, here I, we go. I can't tell you. Yeah, so we ended up having a ten thousand dollar week. Yeah. Working, basically three days. Nice work. Yeah, because this cafe is gonna kill me. It is. Uh, it's just, for, uh, the owner is a co- He also runs a coffee trailer and of course it's getting colder out and people want coffee and he's doing the floor himself and it's just not, not getting done. So 
So we did good. We did. We did good. Well, good. I'm glad that you. Uh, isn't that pretty much your target? I mean, per week. Yeah, I mean, to get to where I want to for the year, I'm still down. Mm-mm. I mean, we'll talk about it in a minute. But that is cold coffee. That's the wrong cup. Oh, uh, hmm. I don't drink coffee. Oh. Stunt your growth. Uh, I think I, I have, passed that I, stage. I know. I have exceeded uh, first year sales. <clears throat> so that's good. But I good. still have. You said first year or last year? First year. Well, I would hope so, Skippy. I would not look back at first year. No, I. Well, I kind of have to. I took four weeks off. No. So kind of. I could still. I still have to because, God forbid, my four weeks I didn't hit first year sales, and I'd be upset. But. But you are. I did. I hit first. I need. To, I need about thirty thousand in the next. Uh, three weeks. <laughs> to hit last year's sales. You only have roadside for three more weeks. Uh. Yeah, basically. We have a lot going on in the beginning of November. That's not roadside. Or not catering either. Basically, we have competitions and stuff. Okay. So. So, yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right. Get to the chopper. What? McConaughey wasn't in that. No, he was not. Or was he? Maybe he was the Predator. I don't think so. I mean, it could have been. He would have been really young. It'll be interesting to see if he takes over the Yellowstone spot. But anyway. I think he's, I think he's happy doing commercials. I think he's happy just being Matthew McConaughey. I really... What was the last commercial I saw him in? God, it was awesome. I had to go look now. Sorry. Um, um, uh, hey. Commercials. Oh, it was the AI stuff. Let me see if this is the right one. Probably not. Hold on. I got it. <laughs> what? No, that is not it. Oh, I don't know. Anyways, one of his newer commercials is really, really good. Oh, it was Uber Uber Eats. I think it was Uber Eats. To know. It was. It was Uber Eats uh, in connection with the um, uh, NFL. Oh. All right, well, I'm, I'm sure. I'm going to share. I'm sharing. Oh, boy. Uh, share. And screen. And not that one. Why can't I just see that fucking thing? Linda. Let's see that. Oh, that is not right. Why is that showing there? All right. Let's see if this will work. I wonder if it's not going to let me. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's let's get to let's get to talking here. I am talking. Well, not really. I'm not doing anything. All right, I got figure it. out a. Yeah, I don't know if you have the bandwidth for this. All right, we can't hear anything. Oh, it's not coming through the audio. All right. No. All right. Anyways. 
it's a basically um how the NFL is set up to sell more food. It's an Uber Eats. Oh. You got turnovers, you got pancake blocks. Um so Christian McCaffrey's there eating French fries and then he turns to the other the other side. He says, Jerry, what are you eating? It's he's eating rice. He's like, Rice. See? Jerry Rice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Probably That's better good. if you see it versus me trying to explain the stupid commercial, but my simple mind really enjoyed the commercial. Anyways, sorry about everybody. You had to be there. I guess. I mean you wouldn't want to be, but you had to be. Um we had a we had a, we had a good week. Jesus criminy. Darren McCarty says, uh, <laughs> uh, they lost their opener. They did. I know. So. Yeah. It was not a great sports weekend for <laughs> me and my teams. So I know Tigers lost too. Oof, it, was, it was, yeah, <laughs> not pretty. Hopefully they turn hey, around today. If it's a Cinderella story and they got to the playoffs, like they were out of it and then they no. lose in the we second want round. Technically we want more. Yeah, uh, they're pretty evenly matched uh, over the season with the with the Guardians. So, correct. I'm hoping for a little bit more, a little bit more magic. I mean, at least make it a series. I, I, can we just be... can we just spend three hundred billion dollars and get Shohei Otani? <laughs> no. Um, but, God, that yeah, guy's just fucking amazing. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, he's such a skinny little fucker, but he just he damn, he's just a, a hell of a hitter. No. So, <laughs> I, think, I think if they get swept, it'll be a, a pretty big disappointing end. You know, they at least make it a series. So hmm. I, I would like to see it at least go six games. If the Tigers don't end it in five, but anyhow. All right. Uh, yeah, we had a pretty good week. Um, excuse me. Uh, I started off the week with uh, a little sciatica. Apparently, oh. uh, it's still going on. I have not been able to get past uh, pain. Sitting down is the best thing for it, clearly. So, um, yeah, I'll have a hard time standing back up after this podcast is over. Just um, stretch it out. Yeah. Stretch. Um, laying down is the best thing for me. <laughs> as flat as possible. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I took lots of drugs uh, over the week. Uh, Spent some time on the couch for a few days, um, but still had, I mean, we can't really have sick days, so there is no, there is no sick time. Um, someone's got to get up in the morning and that person is me. So, um, rested as much as I could this week, um, limited time on the truck and service wise, at least through Friday. Um, I don't even remember what we did this week. So we, we, we also hit up right about 10,000. Um, no major catering this week. It was a pretty normal week for us. Um, oh my god, locations. Lots of. I lost my calendar. There we are. Um, let's see here. What's today? October. Oh, first week of October. Um, insurance place was good on Tuesday. Uh, oh, we did have some drama after I left here. We talked about it a little bit. I think uh, I got a text from my wife. Did they, did we talk about that on the air? I don't. Oh, my I wife's don't. car blowing up on her way to work. Yes. Yeah. yeah she, that was Monday. You were on your way after podcast <laughs> on Monday to go pick up car. Yeah. So there was zero zero oil in it, not a drop of oil in it. Um, more so when I walked out to my garage, there was a lake of oil. That's know. what you had said. Yeah. yeah. So did, did did you did did you look at it to see if they uh, installed the plug? Yeah, yeah, that was because otherwise it would have leaked long before Monday. Oh, so we have a big so problem. We, we got it back Thursday. So what was the problem? Um, so there is a plastic gasket where the oil filter goes into, oh. and either they over tightened it or it just failed and cracked. Um, so it would hold oil for a while. So um, I show up with my 15 quarts of oil, <laughs> put oil in it, made it halfway back, had to stop again, put more oil in it, 
And every time you slow down or stop, there's just smoke billowing out from underneath the car because all the oil hitting the exhaust in the hot underbody of the car. Yeah. Angie followed me back. Um, the whole windshield of my pickup truck had a nice oily film on it oh. <laughs> from it spraying back. Um, but we uh, we got it there. We got it dropped off. They took care of everything. There wasn't even a hint of mention of us paying for anything. Um, they even cleaned the entire car on the outside. Make sure to get it. She said there might be still be a, a small odor just from all the degreaser. But um, yeah, they had it for a day cleaning it. So um, took them about 15 minutes to replace the, the piece that was cracked. Um, and then they spent the rest of time cleaning it. So um, yeah, they did a good job. They took care of everything as they should have. Um, Luckily, Angie obeyed the warnings <laughs> and didn't try to drive it home. Because uh, otherwise, it, oh, I mean, maybe we would have gotten a new car out of the deal. But <laughs> yeah, yep. So that was uh, that was my Monday. That's how we started off the week. Mm. So uh, got this zero done on Monday, um, which is usually my shopping day and everything. So I had to try to push that to Tuesday when my sciatica flared up. Um, yeah, it was a, a hectic beginning of the week trying to get caught up from the weekend. Um, but yeah, uh, our Grand Castle apartments that we go to, I, I think they just oversaturated themselves this year with trucks. Um, they had a lot of weeks where they had a truck there every night. Um, a lot of people have noticed that it's been slowing down there. Um, it's been okay for us still. It's not, we're not losing money going there. So for, for us, it's, it's fine. As long as we're not losing money, we're doing okay. Um, uh, Wednesday, more frustration at Corwell Health on uh, that big building. It was pretty slow. Um, that one is super frustrating because of the 100-plus construction staff that are there putting a huge addition onto that building, um, and we don't get any of them. Every time they say, oh, we wish we would have known you would have been here. Everybody brought their lunches already and blah, 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 blah. So I even made sure to contact our contact there and say, hey, can you make sure all the construction foremen know that we're going to we're going to be there? She's like, yep, I do every time. So, OK, apparently the message just isn't getting through. Um, so, yeah, Wednesday was a. Yeah, it was OK. It was nothing, nothing to write home about. Um, I'd say a pretty average roadside day for October for us. Um, however, we are not experiencing average weather, so, um, we were kind of hoping that things would have been a little bit busier this week. Um, we were mid seventies all week and really not a chance of rain outside of some scattered sprinkles here and there. So, um, Thursday we were down at Midwest in Cassopolis, um, our first week, first time there since my dad's official retirement, um, so it was kind of interesting to see how this is going to shake out where people come in because they liked us or because they felt obligated because my, my dad was the CEO. Um, <laughs> hey, there was that concern. And there was, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I thought the same thing, but you I, I mean, and there's, there was concern on both sides. We got asked all the time this year, are you guys still coming after your dad retires? I was like, you guys keep showing up. We'll keep coming. Um, a, Did they a, show up? About a week ago, we got contacted about also providing lunch for 50 linemen outside staff uh, for some training that day. So we had that going in. Um, but yeah, we had a we had a pretty good day. Um, it sounds like there was a, a pretty good number of people um, not in the office. They were off at conferences and stuff this week. Um, so not as busy as we probably would have normally seen. Thank God we had the lunch for 50. Um, made it a, a really good day. We were just under two for the day. And just did that. So, I mean, yeah, it's a worthwhile trip. Uh, I did not go mostly because my back was so jacked and sitting in a car for three hours didn't seem like the best thing in the world to do for it. Yeah. Um, so I didn't go. Chris said, funny thing, though, saw your dad there. <laughs> I said, like a cardboard cutout of my dad, because I know there's still a bunch of those floating around. He's like, no, your dad. I said, well, that's bizarre. Oh boy. He's, he's like, yeah, we've seen him more since he's been retired at the office than the whole rest of the year. 
uh, apparently. So he was trying to keep his cell phone number that he's had for the last 20 years there. Uh, um, so they were having some issues transferring it. So he had to go in and get it taken care of. But um, yeah, <laughs> just can't stay away. <laughs> um, do something so, for so long. Yeah. So that was a, uh, that was good. Um, we had a, the Granville fall festival on Friday. Uh, it's a two day festival. We, uh, same people that do our vintage fest early in the year. Uh, we decided to do just Fridays on both those days. Cause Saturday there's a pretty solid drop off. Um, Friday's a better day. And she allowed us to do that, which is awesome. Um, yeah, we had a good night. Um, 27, I think is what we did. 26, something like that. Um, kind of projected food for 3000. Um, so yeah, we, I think we had a half pan of everything left or a half of a half pan left. Not bad. Um, so yeah, we were down to just a couple pounds of everything, um, which I will take every time. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, that was a good night. And then uh, turn around. So we got, I think I got home just before 10 o'clock on Friday night. Um, and then Saturday, uh, <laughs> Friday night, decorated the house for Oscar's eighth birthday. Had to run to Meyer and get some stuff for decorating and finish wrapping presents and stuff. Uh, turned around Saturday, uh, his birthday. So I was not going to Nuevo. This is the first time I've not been to Nuevo, I don't think. Or at least I've dropped the trailer off. So Caleb came to the house, drove the trailer for the first time on his own. Um, he's made a couple trips back with Chris and the, like, yeah, with uh, me or Chris. Um, so he took the trailer up to Nuevo, set up with Chris and everything. Drove it back, put meat on, got everything situated. Everything was perfect. Um, other than he had to pull into the driveway front ways instead of backing in um, because they were putting in the final coat on our our road for asphalt. Um, and he said he still got yelled at three times. I gave the guys a head up. About a half hour, I said, in about a half hour, my guy's coming back with a trailer, just an FYI. I'm telling him to pull in front ways instead of trying to back in because it was down to one lane. Um, he said he still got yelled at because you have to turn so sharp because yeah. I have drainage on both sides of my driveway. Yeah. There's not a, there's not an easy way. You can't ease in, um, because the asphalt was still so hot that, yeah, you can, you can see that the roughness from the tires when he pulled in. So yeah. hopefully they come and fix that. Cause I don't want to have to deal with that. I don't want to have to call that County and complain, <laughs> but, um, complain that you did something. Hey. We gotta, we gotta still be able to live and work and do the things we need to do. True so, that. True that. Um, if they come back on a Monday, the trailer doesn't move. <laughs> um, we also had, uh, we had catering on Saturday, uh, smallish catering, hundred people, uh, pork and two sides, uh, for Ferris, uh, Ferris university. They had a, uh, a frat alumni party. Uh, it was also Ferris's homecoming. Um, so Chris ran that up there after we got done with service in Nuevo. Uh, yeah, Nuevo. Nuevo's going to be pissed at us next year when we're only there once every six weeks. Cause I'm done. So we did the hour and 15 minute sellout last year. Last time we were there two weeks ago, I think that sounds right. Sounds right. Um, brought up one more pork butt. And same amount of briskets, but they were bigger briskets. They were big briskets and more ribs, which were all gone in 15 minutes. Last time we were there, hmm. we sold one rack of ribs the whole time mm-hmm. and didn't sell out of anything in three hours. So apparently all, all I have to do to get business up there is to call out the entire city before we go about how crappy they are for not coming to our truck. <laughs> right. And, and I'm not going to do that every week. I'm not begging for you guys to come. You come if you want, Um, but don't be surprised when we're not coming every week anymore. So um, we were actually supposed to be there in another two weeks. We have canceled that um, and we won't be there again until November 2nd. And that'll be our last time. So do what you gotta do. um, Yeah. In the one in two weeks we have, uh, we have Tanglewood winery in the evening. We have a catering for a class reunion and uh, found out via Facebook in an event that we were tagged in that Tanglewood is having their annual fall fest on that day. Ooh. We had no idea. Um, so I got to find out how busy they are that day. Typically probably should um, cook a little extra. 
Yeah, but dropping out of Nuevo is not going to hurt us. I don't think so. Um, yeah, yeah, we had a we had a we had a big enough task to handle with the two. So, um, yeah, uh, all in all, it was a good week. We were at Deep Roots yesterday. Uh, sold out there about an hour and a half before we were supposed to close. Um, but nice solid, nice solid day there. It was a freaking gorgeous out. It was perfect weather for oh, that kind of stuff. This Outside whole week of, was fantastic. Outside of it was super windy early in the morning, and then we had this nice lull, and then about noon it freaking picked up again, yeah. and it was it was just a haze of dust in the air from the farm, and it was pretty awful. <laughs> um, it's... Driving the trailer back, so we I had to drive straight west, and the wind was coming straight out of the west, and it felt like I was pulling four trailers with flat tires. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. But uh, yeah, a good week. We did uh, 90, 90, 900 for the week. So good. we're hitting right where we want to be. I mean, to make money. I mean, we're making money. So that's yeah, all that matters. We'd, we'd love to do 12 to 15 a week, but this time of year doing 10 <laughs> is a, uh, is pretty solid. So yeah, we're, uh, we're already almost, I think we're halfway to what we did last year in October, eight days in, seven days in. So awesome. Looking like another, another good month. We, uh, speaking of, you said big, big briskets, uh, I found the unicorn of brisket cases. This case yeah. weighed, this case weighed 92 pounds. I've had a whole bunch of those in the last week or two. <laughs> I just have a restaurant depot to get it, but the Costco's had a, a whole bunch. Like I've had an average, I think, I don't think I have one smaller than 80 in the last yeah. two weeks. Yeah, and they're not. Was, they're not. It's not like there's ten briskets in there. No, there's five. There's five. It was five, <laughs> yeah. and I mean, at ninety-one pounds, yeah, they're they were all huge. sixteen, seventeen pound average on a briskets on a yeah. case of briskets. Would I'll take that all day long. Yep. Uh, and they were four dollars a pound, so that's what. Not bad. Currently on my work, my Costco, that's our case price is four three ninety nine. Yeah. So not awesome, uh, but better than the four fifty. Yeah, if I go to Sam's, it's four thirty four for Prime. <laughs> Yeah. I still like cooking prime over choice, but uh, you just got to, sometimes you just got to take the biggest ones, yeah, and and treat choice a little bit better. Other than that, a choice brisket can be as good as a prime brisket. Absolutely, it can be as good as a wagyu brisket. It's yeah. all about how you cook it. I will, I will, we'll agree to disagree on the last one. Well, let's take it from a competition standpoint. Choices beat Wagyu's every week. Oh boy! It's because those judges are. I, I've beaten a Wagyu <laughs> with a choice brisket. Well, I've beaten Wagyu with Prime. I don't think I've cooked a choice. Well, I used to long ass time ago. Yeah, back way back in the day before before Wagyu was even a thing. I was getting all my all my meat from Gordon's pretty much. Gordon's or Meyer, so I would never cook Primes on a rare occasion because I didn't have a Costco membership or anything. Yeah, so. I think was, we took I think we took third down in Florida with a choice brisket. No. You probably you cooked a you had to cook a expensive one. No? Well maybe they don't. We went down for fun. Our goal was not last, try not to embarrass ourselves. Middle of the pack would be perfect. Yeah. And we fucking won the thing. Yeah, I I bought meat down there. True. I didn't even take anything with me. So, speaking of competitions, okay. So, we, so uh, what was that? Dog. <laughs> I'm sure it was. <laughs> Jeez, oh, Pete's making flatulent sounds on the airwaves. It says creaky floor. It's house is old. <laughs> why do you lie? Like, why just just to, just own it? Just to it's absolutely fun to own lie. it. It's more fun to lie. Um, Look at all these laughs you're getting. There is a competition uh, at the end of October, uh, KCBS, in my home state of Massachusetts. So my side of the family has never seen me compete, cook, whatever. You are not doing what I think you're going to do. <laughs> I think we're going to drive out there and do it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a good way to see the family because I haven't seen them in a long time. 
No, a good way to see the family is to hop on a plane, go out there for a couple of days, and come back home. Well, if I can find, <laughs> I'll hop on a plane. If I, if I can, can find f- a way to go there and avoid them <laughs> and still make it look like I'm visiting, no, that's what I prefer. It is absolutely, mm-hmm. it's absolutely to see and, but they want to, they want to experience what I do in competition. So I think it'll be fun. 